Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandy. Today, we are going to solve the logistic differential equation. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Says, solve the logistic differential equation dy over dt is equal to ky times 1 minus y over l, where k and l are constants, period. A population that satisfies this equation does not grow without bound, but approaches the carrying capacity l as t increases. Okay, <clears throat> so... Let's do the solution. So we have, we have to solve the differential equation dy over dt is equal to ky1 minus y over l. So First, we will separate the variables. So, we will have divide both sides by y times 1 minus y over L. So, we have dy over ky by actually just by y so there is no k so let me read out that k so dy by y over 1 minus y over l and we still have dt in the denominator is equal to k because I've divided both sides by y times y 1 minus y over l. So y times 1 minus y over l cancel from the right hand side. Then I will multiply both sides by dt. So I have dy by y times 1 minus y over l is equal to k times dt. Okay, let me create some space for myself. Okay. So, now it, I have on the left-hand side dy by divided by y minus l over l minus y over l is equal to k times dt okay or i will have I will have now, let me create some space for myself. So, so I will have, I will have dy times L over y times L minus y is equal to k dt and k times dt and I will integrate on both sides okay and integrate on both sides now <clears throat>
So let's consider the expression L over Y minus L minus Y. So L divided by Y times L minus Y. This is in the denominator, in the left hand side of the equal to sign. Okay. And we will split it up into partial fractions as A over Y plus B over L minus Y. Okay. Okay, now <clears throat> let's work with uh, the new L over Y times L minus Y is equal to A times L minus Y divided by Y plus B times Y divided by L minus y. No, now I need to solve for a and b. So <laughs> if I make y equal to l, y equal to l, then make make we have Substitute y equal to l on the right hand side. On the right hand side. Side. When you do that, you have l over y, l minus y is equal to a times l minus l divided by y plus by l minus y okay or l divided by y times l minus y is equal to b times l because y is l divided by y minus l now Sorry, it should be L minus Y. So pardon me, fix that. B times L divided by L minus Y. And there's a Y. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so we have. Right, so <clears throat> this is uh, actually this is y times l minus y, right, in the denominator. Now, y times l minus y in the denominator cancel out. Okay, so if I move this slightly up. You'll see L, no, no, so L times Y by L minus Y is equal to B times L by Y times L minus Y. So Y times L minus Y cancels from the denominator of both sides. L also cancel out in the numerator of both sides. So this will lead to 1 is equal to B. Okay, so this is important. Okay. Next, uh, let's create some space. And now we substitute substitute so substitute 
y equal to 0, okay, in the expression L times y minus L minus y is equal to, we are substituting y equal to 0. So, A times L minus 0 by y times L minus y plus B times 0 L minus y. So, actually we have now L divided by y multiplied by L minus y in the denominator is equal to A times L divided by y L minus y. So B terms have disappeared. Now this L will cancel with this L. This y will cancel with this y. And L minus y will cancel with L minus y. Which will lead to 1 is also equal to A. So the reason for doing this partial fraction is we want to split up. So what do we want to split up? So I just want to remind you what we have done. So if I move this a little bit up, you will see. So basically, basically I'm transforming one uh, L over Y times L minus Y as A over Y plus B over L minus Y. So I have now on the left turn side. So let me start with this equation. dy by y. So if I reduce this little bit, see if I can create by some space for myself. So basically now I have this equation this equation over here. Okay. I have on the left hand side, I have integration and I've split it up into two partial fraction, which is one, A is one, plus B is also one, L minus Y, integration with respect to Y is equal to integration k with respect to dt, okay? So this is the f result of all the partial fractions that I did, okay? And now, now we can integrate this with respect to y on the left-hand side. So this is ln absolute value of y, okay? and minus ln absolute value of L minus y is equal to k integration of dt is t plus the integration constant c. Or we can write ln absolute value of L minus y by y is equal to <laughs> minus kt because we flipped over. It should have been ln y by ln by L, L plus y are inside the absolute value, but we flipped it over. Hence, we get a negative sign on the right-hand side is equal to minus kt minus c. This is k, okay? And then we know ln is... Uh, logarithm with respect to base C, natural logarithm. So we can write L minus Y by Y is equal to, is equal to E to the power of minus KT minus C. Okay which we can separate into e to the power of minus c times e to the power of minus kt. So we have L minus y divided by y is equal to e to the power of minus c is a constant. 
which we can write as b e to the power of minus kt. Okay, so now I multiply by 1 on both sides. L minus y is equal to y multiplied by b, which is a constant, minus e k t. Okay. So this is L minus y, right? Now add y on both sides. This is L minus y. So add y on both sides, we get L is equal to y plus y times b e to the power of minus kt. Now I take y as a common factor outside, 1 plus b, which is a constant, minus e to the power of kt. Just wanted to <clears throat> mention this is the solution. In. So, this, uh, from this we can get, uh, just give me a minute, so move it up. So, <clears throat> now we have divide by 1 plus b e to the power of minus kt. On both sides, we have y is equal to L divided by 1 plus B multiplied by E to the power of minus KT. This is the solution for the logistic equation with which we started this problem. Okay. So <laughs> that is the solution for the logistic problem. Next time, I'm going to use this uh, um, expression for y as a solution for the logistic equation to solve a logistic set of equation where uh, we will be working with given b and k values as you will see. So I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please do not hesitate to write me a note. I appreciate that. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. That means a lot to me. Thank you for watching my video and if you like this video please let your friends know about it please subscribe to my video by hitting the red subscribe button in the bottom right corner i appreciate that i'll see you next time with an application problem for the logistic differential equation take care see you have a nice day